Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with the best almond, hazelnut, chestnut, nutty perfumes in general. I did almost one year ago, I think it was one year ago, a video with the best almond perfumes um, and they featured in there some fragrances that maybe had a hazelnut a note or maybe they had a chestnut note and everyone was like, oh, this is not almond. So, so we're doing today best nutty perfumes. We're gonna do almonds, hazelnut, chestnut, and then I have actually three fragrances that don't have any nutty notes, but for some reason, okay, for some reason, I'm getting that type of scent. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to pick thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. All right, like I said, we're gonna have in here some almond perfumes, hazelnut perfumes, and then chestnut, and then I have three perfumes that actually don't feature any of these notes, but for some reason, for some reason, I can smell something nutty in them, all right? Um, obviously, I have other fragrances that maybe have an almond note or a chestnut note, but if it's not the main note, if I can't really smell it, it's not gonna be in this video. So, let's start with almonds. We have from Burberry, Burberry Brit Eau de Parfum. I will not say it's a good one by any means. This one has almond, has some lemon, definitely you can smell them in the opening and then has some floral notes as well. You can smell the almond, it's this sweet powdery almond or it's mainly, this perfume is mainly um, a floral, a sweet floral with some lemon and a touch of almond. You can still smell it, it's appropriate for any occasion. I can't see a person not liking this perfume, it's generally like the definition of crowd pleasing perfume. Like you can't go wrong with this scent. Every day, just going out, I know, going to work, you can wear this one. Going to a restaurant, you can wear this one. Going to the office, you can wear this one. It's perfectly, I don't know, you can, you can wear it all the time. You can wear it basically all the time. Again, you can smell the almond, but it's not the strongest perfume on an almond. Next, next we have, this is almost done. I got, I told you, I already got a new bottle. A Girl of Now from Elisa, just the original. This perfume has almond, obviously. It has some pistachio as well, all right. It has some vanilla. Caramel is not listed, but for some reason I'm getting caramel as well. For me, this perfume smells like this almond, pistachio, caramel topping. They're used for like a, a coffee or like a frappe or something from Starbucks. Like that type of, uh, that type of topping is what I'm getting with this. Super sweet, super sticky. You can definitely smell the almond. It's beautiful, I love it. I got my four bottles, so you can tell that I actually really, really like this perfume. Uh, Girl of Now from Elisab. Next. Next we have Drage from Reminisa. Drage smells exactly like those uh, candied almonds. Candied almonds are getting um, at the wedding. It smells exactly like that. It's um, sweet, it's powdery, it's very creamy in the same time. Beautiful, beautiful almond scent very gourmand not overly sweet it's sweet okay but it's not overly sweet and doesn't have like i said any cherry aspect because sometimes cherry and almond they can smell very similar i would say all of the perfumes i have here that have almond they smell like almond they don't smell like cherry and uh, this one is definitely almond like coated almond with in like sugar and powdery and creamy and just beautiful and it's very very affordable reminisa drage next something that I love and something that um, it's just a line that I genuinely, genuinely, really, really like. From Van Cleef & Alpers, we have Bois Dore. Everything that's from um, the private collection, not everything, but most of them, most of their fragrances, I just love. Bois Dore has to be my favorite. Uh, Bois Dore is this almond with some tobacco and it's something creamy as well. For me, I explained this a billion times, for me this perfume smells like you are making a tiramisu and someone is not necessarily smoking but is vaping in the same room. Smoking shisha or, I don't know, it doesn't smell like cigar, it smells like this like vape, tobacco vape, if that, like sweet pipe tobacco, but not smoky. Not ashy, nothing like that. It's 
and the almond is beautiful it's more like a bitter almond if you ask me but it's creamy it's smooth it's it's absolutely stunning such a unique scent highly 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 recommend you go and check this one out maybe go to the store try it and then you can go online because actually this one it's cheaper online uh Bodore from van cleef next next we have tardes from carnal barcelona tardes for me tardes is you can definitely smell the almond i actually have some paper in here let's use a paper yes it's this soapy a bit balmy perfume it's soapy definitely but it's a bit balsamic in the same time and you're definitely getting this again creamy almond um not necessarily a gourmand all right but it's just that classy everyday all year round very pretty very 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 pretty i do really like it nothing Wow, nothing baba voom again not it's not a gourmand in my opinion it's pretty um not soapy more like shampooy like hair conditioner like you know that type of like silkiness it has that but it's a bit balsamic in the same time i do really like it maybe it's not gonna be for everyone maybe not everyone's gonna be crazy about it but it's a, it's a scent i really really like and there's that type of fragrance when you don't know what to wear and if you like almonds this is gonna be for you tardes from uh, carnel barcelona Next, next we have uh, Mandol, Mandol from Soradora. <sighs> Mandol, um, all Fragrantica almond is not listed, but it's generally in the name. So I looked, I looked online, I looked on their website and almond, it's a note. Now, some people are getting cherry. For me, this one, it's definitely almond is not cherry. I'm getting this sweet creamy almond with a leather note i can definitely smell the leather okay maybe it goes in the cherry but not really most like lots of people i heard lots of people saying this is a cherry fragrance it's a cherry fragrance for me this is an almond fragrance but the leather it's soft leather it's like a leather bag interior i really like it leather normally is not my cup of tea but this one this one is beautiful it's very powerful it's very sexy it's like fall winter dark a different type of gourmand it goes in that gourmand territory because the almond is sweet and creamy but it's not a full full on gourmand it's more than that really really like this one I actually have a coupon code I'm gonna leave in the description box mandol from soradora next 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 we have sulmona from coquilete if you want an almond balm, if you want the sweetest almond fragrance that you can find, Sulmona is for you. This one is an um, almond, it has sugar, it has vanilla, I think it has some orange blossom as well. Extremely sweet. Kind of smells like almond marzipan. Like super, super sugary. Not necessarily natural smelling. But I love it. And with this perfume, I either I either got like compliments like oh my god, you smell amazing, or oh my god, that's way too sweet. It's a very, very, very sweet fragrance. But I love it. Makes me happy, makes me hungry. It generally smells like a marzipan. Know how it's like super sugary and is that but with an almond note. Oh, love it, beautiful. Sulmona Coquilete. I had in the past a coupon code with them, it's not affiliated or anything like that. I'm gonna leave it in the description box this one i purchased myself maybe it's still working not necessarily a blind buy i would sample it first but it's a good one like but not a blind buy not a blind buy because it can be a bit too sweet next we have italica from zerzhov italica i know is not for everyone okay i know some people that absolutely hated it i love it i genuinely love it, it smells for me it smells like an almond croissant it's super creamy and buttery and the almond in this is just phenomenal i love it again i've heard some people saying that they don't like it italica right now it's uh, more available than it used to be you can actually get samples as well so go and get a sample don't blame by it for me this is probably like top three best 
Naughty perfume. It's my whole collection. I absolutely love it. It's amazing. But again, some people don't like it. So yeah, it's it's a full on gourmand. It's a full on gourmand. Italica from Zerjo. Next, next one is probably the best. One of the best almond fragrances. Bodacious from Bodicia. This one has a cherry note as well, and I, I can smell both of them. This is like amaretto and cherry and oh. It's stunning, stunning. I would say it's like 60% uh, almond and then 40% cherry. You can smell both of them. It's a gourmand dream. It's it's everything. It's not just cherry, okay? It's not just cherry. Cherry is some for lost cherry. Venom of Love from Navitus. That one has an almond note, but for me, that one is mostly uh, cherry and some dark chocolate. This one, it's almond with some cherry as well. But it's, it's the best of the best of the best. Like, it's such, it smells so expensive. You can tell that it has such a high quality. It's it's stunning. It's amazing. Get yourself a sample or get your nose on this one because it's absolutely stunning. Next, we have Navitus Divine Aphrodisiac. This one has almond, but then it has a sesame note and it has a peanut butter cord. And it, indeed, it smells like peanut butter. It's not super, super sweet. You, you'd expect this one to be like extremely sweet. It's not. You're definitely getting that sesame. For me, it smells more like peanuts. Obviously, it has a peanut butter accord, so it doesn't really smell like almond. It smells mostly like chestnut with some like sesame and peanuts. Not really almond, but it has an almond note. But it smells like peanut butter. Generally, peanut butter, not the extremely sweet one. It's unisex leaning more feminine, but it's not that sweet where you are gonna say, oh, it's just it's just a fem feminine um, scent. <sighs> it's such a good one. If you want to smell like peanut butter, try this one. It's gorgeous. It's yeah, it smells like peanut butter. Nine three almond, but peanut butter. Divine aphrodisiac from um, Navitus. Next we have from Navitus. My fragrance, Chocolate Queen. Obviously, it's a chocolate fragrance, uh, like the name suggests, but this one has bitter almond and it has hazelnut as well. It's a chocolate fragrance, like I said. We're having dark chocolate, we're having um, chocolate fudge cold. You can smell the chocolate from the opening till the dry down, but you can definitely smell that almond and that hazelnut is like super nutty and it's creamy and sweet. You have some caramel, you have some dulce de leche, you have lots of things, lots of like good gourmand things. Um, but you can definitely smell the almond, so it's not, don't think it's gonna be just pure chocolate. It's mainly chocolate, but you can definitely smell the almond and the hazelnut in this one. So, um, yeah, it's not available yet, but it's gonna be very soon. Um, and it's, it's just, it's my baby, I love it. I can't wait, I can't wait for everyone to have this perfume in their collection. Chocolate Queen from Navitus. Next, next we have, oh, because we talked about, I said that my fragrance has hazelnut as well. Let's talk about some fragrances that have hazelnut, obviously. Band number nine, Tribeca. Tribeca, it's basically, same DNA as Baccarat Rouge with some jasmine and then it has this super creamy, almost milky hazelnut. I love it. I adore it. If I have to choose between this one and Baccarat Rouge, I would go with Tribeca. It's very expensive, I know, but it's just amazing. You just have to get your nose on this perfume because it's stunning. This is a bottle, usually I hate one number nine bottles, but this is a bottle that I don't really mind, all right? Um, and you can definitely smell that hazelnut. The hazelnut um, note, it's beautiful, it's stunning, I love it. Next, we have another perfume with hazelnut. Al Contrario from Tiziana Terenzi. Al Contrario, I don't know what the notes are, okay? I think it has some coffee, I think it has some sandalwood. This perfume for me smells like a, you make a cappuccino and it's the foam on top. It's very milky, very lactonic. In a weird way, it kind of smells like bread in the same time, but then it has this coffee hazelnut touch. 
it's a gourmand in a different way. It's not like a full-on gourmand. It's a very cozy fragrance as well. This does, does not perform well um, when it's cold outside, but if you're inside and it's not necessarily like hot, but it's like it's warm, it's decent, all right? This is going to perform. In the heat, this one actually performs very, very well. In the cold, nothing. Nobody can smell it, okay? But in the heat, it's amazing. Like, this is for, like, indoor, very cozy, very, I don't know, cuddly, that type of scent. Again, I would, I'm not blind by, I'm not blind by anything, all right? But it's such a good one. Like, it's such a good one. Again, I, it's same story with Italic. I know some people really don't like it. I do absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I do love it. It smells for me like a cappuccino foam. Like, you know, the top the foam? It smells like that. Al contrario, Tiziana Terenzi. Now, let's move on to some chestnut perfumes. Chestnut perfumes we have from Mas Milano Madeleine. This one, it's similar to Absolute Aphrodisiac. Um, not Absolute Aphrodisiac. Divine Aphrodisiac, what I'm talking about, Divine Aphrodisiac from uh, Navitus. The difference is this one has something very, very sweet. It smells like peanuts. If Divine Aphrodisiac smells exactly like peanut butter, this one smells like roasted peanuts with caramel. It's way, way sweeter. And I can actually see how this one can bother some people because it's very sweet. But I do love it. I love both of them. I can't choose, all right? I, I can't choose. I love both of them. That chestnut, again, for me, doesn't really smell like chestnut. It smells more like peanuts. But it's beautiful. It's such a good one. It's, it's, it's a beautiful scent. Oh, this is what I'm getting. Peanuts, roasted peanuts with caramel. Don't know what the notes are, but this is what I'm getting. Madeleine from Mas Milano. Next, we have... Um, Oh, I got the wrong one. I got Dolce Passione. I was meant to get Trastevere. Trastevere is, it has caramel, I believe, or vanilla. I smell caramel. Doesn't matter, I smell caramel. With some chestnut, with some Artemisia and something else. Basically, it's this extremely sweet, like sickly sweet caramel with chestnut. And then that Artemisia gives it this almost green, medicinal thing in the background i wish it wasn't there that medicinal thing i wish it wasn't there i can smell it when like like i put my wrist very close to my nose but in the air i can't smell it in the air it generally smells like the sweetest caramel with chestnut that you can find again kind of same story as Elisa sabgarov now it smells like a starbucks topping the difference is trastevere is way 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 sweeter than Elisa sabgarov now Next, another perfume with chestnut. We have bar number nine, again, New Bond Street. This one, it's a different take, all right. You can definitely smell the chestnut this time. And it has, I think it has some cacao, if I'm not wrong. It has, it definitely has some sandalwood, something woody in there, so, some, something different, okay. It has some pepper, if I'm not wrong. It's a bit peppery. It's very creamy, smooth, a bit spicy, but then you're getting that pepper on top. Not as a gourmand as some people would say. Again, if you go for Grantica, people are saying that this is such a gourmand. Almost there. It's almost there. It's, it's not that gourmand, but it has a gourmand, a gourmand touch, okay? But that pepper, I think it's black pepper, that's not gourmand. It's not extremely strong, but you can definitely smell it, okay? I love it. I, I I personally love it. It was... Was it a blind buy? Kind of blind buy. Like, I tested it in store, but I didn't test it properly. And then I bought it maybe, like, one year later. But I do really like it. Like, I do really like it. You need to try it. You need to try it. Especially because this one goes um, on sale quite often online. Not on their official website, but on other websites. You can find it for, like... 100, 100 and something. I got mine, it's a 50 million. I got mine for like 110, which is not bad for bond number nine. Next, two more perfumes. The next one we have By the Fireplace from Maison Martin Margiela. By the Fireplace, it's again, it's a different one. I, I personally love it, okay? Like, 
is this super smoky vanilla it generally smells like you're in front of a fireplace like burning something is burning but you're getting the chestnut as well not a blind buy do not blind buy this thing i can definitely smell the chestnut but it's, mo it's mostly this vanilla and this burning thing going on that it's stunning I love it, especially on a guy. On a guy, guys, if if you're watching, okay, if I have any men watching, go and check this one out because it's stunning. I love it for myself, but on a guy, it's stunning as well. I love it. I just love it. Um, by the fireplace from Mezzo Martin Margiela. And now the last one, Zadig and Voltaire. This is her. This is a sandalwood perfume with some chestnut, with some whipped cream. It's so creamy, oh my, so creamy, almost milky, and you're definitely getting that, that sandalwood, and you're getting the chestnut, and it's beautiful, and it's very, very inexpensive. If you like, you need to like sandalwood as well, okay? And you need to like very creamy fragrances. If you like those things, you're definitely gonna love this one. So the last scent, Oh, it's so good. The last scent that we're having here is from Zadig and Voltaire, and this one is This Is Her. And I forgot. I forgot about the three fragrances that don't have any nutty notes, but they actually smell like um, they might have some almond or some other things. Sorry. The first one, uh, The Embrace from Navitus. <sighs> this one has a sesame note, okay? It has some honey, it has other things going on. You can definitely smell the sesame, but for some reason I'm getting this almond note as well. I know, listen, I have a hater here that all the time when I talk about the embrace, it's like, oh, that smells horrible. Okay, you don't like it. Okay, we got the point. We got our, your point. Like Literally for six months, that person was commenting under every single video when I was featuring this one. They're paying you. They're not paying me. I just like it. That's it. And I'm not the only one. Go on Frogmatica. Check. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like I said, does it have an almond note? It has sesame, but I'm getting almonds for some reason. The next one is coming from Navitus as well. This one, people don't love it that much. I mean, women. That thing is too masculine for me. It's perfect unisex. And I know me, I normally don't go for unisex fragrances. Serenade. Serenade has tobacco, has honey, has some dark chocolate. I'm getting almonds again. From where? Have no idea, but I'm getting almonds. And it's it's such like boozy, cozy, and just delicious goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um yeah, you need to check this one out. If you don't like it, maybe your partner is gonna like it, but I just love it. Like I, I generally don't find it too masculine. I find it like unisex, maybe leaning slightly uh, more feminine. Serenade from Navitus. And the last one. Carmel Barcelona, again, Palo Santo. Palo Santo is this like, stunning, amazing. Sandalwood perfume. And it has other things going on. I think it has some tonka bean, if I'm not wrong. But I'm getting almonds again. More exactly like bitter almonds. Like sweet, sweet but bitter in the same time. Almonds. It's beautiful. It's stunning. This is my favorite uh, Camel Barcelona. I've tried quite a lot. I do have this one. I have Tardes. I have um, Supermoon, Lucomore. I like all of them, but this one is definitely my favorite. So now we have the final fragrance, um, Palo Santo from Carnel Barcelona. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite nutty fragrance. Um, if you have any other recommendations, maybe, I don't know, there is a hidden gem that I've never smelled and I need to try. Let me know in the comments down below. All right. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to pick thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.